Hello, my name is Lewis Barrett Roger, and I'm the Deputy Head Teacher at Kendall Church of England Primary School in Essex. Over the past five years, we have been on a journey to become a centre of excellence for outdoor learning, and with the help of organisations such as the Council for Learning Outside the Classroom, we have been able to realise this ambition, allowing our pupils to reap the benefits that learning beyond the classroom offers. At Kendall, we teach the national curriculum largely through the pedagogy of outdoor learning. In practice, this means that all of our pupils are engaged in active, experiential learning in subjects from across the primary curriculum in the natural environment and on a daily basis. We are lucky to have a teaching team compromising of highly creative and engaging professionals who see learning beyond the classroom as an excellent tool in their toolkit for delivering age-related outcomes for their learners. We adopted learning outside as a central element of our core vision for school improvement because of the many benefits it provides, which are well established in the educational research literature. These range from an increase in resilience, teamwork, collaboration, self-esteem, mental well-being and academic attainment. Not satisfied with the current literature base, several of our own staff have conducted their own research. For example, our Year 4 teacher recently completed her master's dissertation with research looking into the impact of learning outside the classroom for her pupils. A key finding of her research is that children reported active learning was an important part of their daily learning and learning outside the classroom enabled them to keep engaged with their learning as well. I myself am currently undertaking postgraduate research into the experiences of children learning mathematics in the outdoor environment. More anecdotally, as a school, we have conducted several case studies on individuals and groups of children. We have seen children who lack resilience, motivation for learning, and in some cases those who have been at risk of exclusion, be impacted positively by our outdoor learning provision and start to excel. Let me give you an example. Curtis hadn't had the best start to school. He found it difficult to focus in lessons. Although he's an able pupil, he didn't reach his full potential because of a lack of interest in learning and a defiant learning behavior. Curtis often distracts others from their learning and could be disruptive in lessons. One of Curtis's strengths is maths, particularly his mental recall, but he was reluctant to write anything down or make any jottings which would support his mathematical progress. In forest school sessions, Curtis revels in the freedom of the open space and focuses much more than he is able to in class on an individual task. He is much more willing to take part in group work, listen to others and use his problem solving skills to overcome challenges. In a recent Learning Outside the Classroom maths lesson, when given an alternative to writing in a book, Curtis produced a vast amount of work using chalk on the playground. He filled almost a quarter of a netball court with equivalent fractions and models. He was able to explain these to others and then he uses new learning back in the classroom. When Curtis returns from forest school sessions or having learnt outside the classroom in his lessons, he returns to the classroom more focused and ready to learn. Curtis reports that he likes school and one of the reasons he particularly likes coming to Kendall is because we're not stuck in the classroom all day. This is just one example of how simply taking a lesson onto the playground has a direct impact on both the mental well-being and academic success of an individual. At this time, during a global pandemic, we have seen learning outside the classroom becoming even more important to our pupils and staff. Many people through successive lockdowns have been isolated in their homes, and this has created a nature deficit for many of our pupils. We believe outdoor learning is a key way in which we as educators can help to reconnect children and our staff with nature and the world beyond the walls of our classrooms. The benefits of out being outside in reducing the transmissibility of the virus are also clear. It's partly for this reason that we've had an increase in calls and emails from other schools asking for support in developing their own provisions for outdoor learning. When you see children in lessons buzzing with excitement and engaged in their learning, you know you're doing something right. And it's for these reasons that I'm delighted to be able to support the Council for Learning Outside the Classroom in its mission to spread the positive messages of outdoor learning far and wide. Thank you.